Before you go too far, I just have to uh, draw some attention to you. I, I know it's already been spoken about, but 15 years ago, some people trusted me with uh, the best award of the city. Five years ago, Joanna and Larry trusted me to speak on behalf of the alumni. So on behalf of them, I'd like to ask you to join me in applauding the tireless work that they have done for the past 19 years to show that all your hard work is really Life is a storm. You will bask in the sunlight one moment and be shattered on the rocks the next. I never knew just how much these words from my favorite movie, The Count of Monte Cristo, would really have on me. More importantly, in terms of what that means to you, I've been fortunate enough to address these salute recipients for five years. And during that time, I've noticed very succinct patterns. Specifically, every single one of us has endured the same storm. If you're like me, maybe that was bullying in grade 8 and being told by your vice principal that you never amount to anything. Maybe it was studying your brains out in grade 12 only to just miss the top grade in class and lose any chance of a scholarship. Maybe it was winning the city championships. Maybe it was an art award. Throughout, throughout it all, I'm sure that you have had family encouraging you to never give up. I know that I can say that even after 32 years, my mom is my biggest fan, and she's actually here with us tonight to cheer me on. I gotta say, thanks, mom. I do not think that was Give away. The names and settings may be different, but I think you see what I'm getting at. We are all the same. Recipients, as much as I wish it weren't so, each of us must endure torrential storms for two reasons. First, because we're only given what we can handle. And you are all given so many wonderful talents. You have the tools to handle the storms that life is going to give you. Second, because even though the reason isn't clear at the moment, <coughs> storms bring with them wisdom. Let me prove it. Let's go back to that favorite quote of mine. The real enabler for us is what is said next in the quote. That is, what defines you is what you do when the storm comes. I'm going to pause there for a moment and talk about a storm that you've got coming real soon. The opposite sex. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The storms you are going to weather with the opposite sex. I can honestly say, I have had a sitcom's worth of ways that I have been burned, uh, turned down, shut down, or dumped. But I needed to trudge through that storm so that I could find my Malia. My perfect match, whom? I'll be marrying in three months. And how many more days, my man? 24. 24 days, Malia, right there, my stunning fiance, everybody. Where's Michael Vargo? Michael Vargo, where are you? Sorry, where? Smoking hot wife? Check. You gotta read his profile, it's hilarious. In case you're wondering, by the way, uh, we are gonna be booking Focus 91 for the wedding photos. Uh, lucky. Okay, so you know the most defining storm for me though, uh, that mess that I mentioned in grade 8? During that storm, I dreaded every single second that I was in school, but I chose not to cave. I learned how to box from my dad. I grew confidence. I scored top grades in the school. I transferred to Miller and absolutely loved every single second. Am I right, Marauders? Make some noise. <laughs> I didn't pay them to do it. <laughs> I went to university, I got a black belt or two, I, got a, I started a company or three, uh, and now I run the martial arts school. My storm has become my shield and my weapon. But you know the most defining storm, sorry, the biggest, not just the most defining, but the biggest storm for me came last year, in February. My dad was given months to live because of asbestos poisoning that turned into cancer. All he ever did his whole life was work himself ragged to provide for his family. And this was the thanks he got, a ticking time bomb. By August of last year, doctors gathered around to tell us there was nothing that could be done. Malia, my mom and I knew nothing about cancer, but thanks to our work ethic from our schooling, we studied and found a way to heal him. 
I honestly believe we came this close to curing cancer, only to see him lose his desire to fight any longer. And ultimately, I lost the greatest man I have ever known in February of this year. I still don't know why I couldn't have been smarter, why my dad had to leave only months before our wedding, and why we couldn't give him the only thing he ever really wanted, more family, grandchildren. I struggle with the very words that I am speaking to you tonight, but I won't waver in my resolve. Recipients, think of me as you, coming back from the future. I'm here to tell you, keep dreaming big, but put action to those dreams. Wear your heart on your sleeve and let your personality shine through, because even when you don't know it, somebody is watching, and they're getting inspiration from you. Lastly, don't ever stop learning, because soon you will realize that the more you learn, the less you know. And that fact will challenge you to be the best. You have it in you to be the next Fortune 500 CEO, or fifth degree black belt, or even to cure cancer. But like the quote says, it depends on your actions. So, my time with you comes down to this. Prepare for your storms. You've already planted seeds where others would have washed away. And those seeds have clearly rooted strongly because you're here tonight. <laughs> Feed those roots with pursuits of knowledge in academia, career, athletics, healthy lifestyle, creativity, and recreation. And if you do, well, that's where the final piece of the quote comes in. You will look into that storm and shout, do your worst, for I will do mine. Congratulations, you recipients of 2013.